students, my name is Rahima Javid and I've been associated with Ask IITN since three years. Just imagine a single cell in this whole world. It will die someday. Can you imagine such thing? Life would not exist in such a way. So out of the many characteristics of living beings, one such character is reproduction or replication. So this occurs basically at the cell level which is the structural and the functional unit of life. So today we will discuss about the cell cycle and cell division. Under this topic, we will discuss about, there are uh, three subtopics, that is the phases of cell uh, division, then uh, mitosis and then meiosis. So in this first part, we will start with our first subtopic, that is the phases of the cell cycle. So let's start. Cell cycle and cell division. Cell division is a biological process in all living organisms that occurs in all living organisms. Although cell growth in terms of cytoplasmic increase is a continuous process, but DNA synthesis it occurs only during one specific stage in the cell cycle. And the sequence of the events which occur during the cell growth and cell division are collectively called the cell cycle. The topics that we will be covering under this chapter include the phases of the cell cycle uh, which include uh, the G1, S, G2 and M phase. Then there is mitosis uh, that is also known as the somatic cell division or the equational division. Then the last topic will be meiosis. Meiosis is known as reduction division that takes place in uh, the germ cells of our body. The period that is required to complete one cell cycle from the beginning of one cell division to the beginning of the next is known as generation time and the generation time for human cells is 24 hours whereas it is 90 minutes for the yeast cells. The cell cycle is divided into two basic phases interphase and the M phase also known as mitotic phase or the dividing phase. First we will discuss about the interphase 